Today we're embarking on a series on quant R&D and algorithmic trading strategy R&D. We're going to outline with this introduction the exact process that quants would follow uh, as regards a data source. In this case, our data source is the Darwin API. And we're going to go about describing the exact workflow that at its bare minimum needs to be followed in order to implement a quant workflow, uh, in this case, using the Darwin API. And to do so, we've crafted an entire example trading strategy involving every single component from theory as well as implementation uh, in Python 3 using the Darwin API. So this is going to be uh, a long tutorial. It's going to cover a lot of material. It's going to cover a lot of financial uh, concepts as well as programming concepts. So it's, uh, it's a crash course uh, in uh, repeating everything we've discussed so far in Darwin API usage, but also in terms of quant finance, uh, what is required in order to embark on a quant R&D related journey. So follow along. And if you haven't seen the Darwin API videos uh, prior to this tutorial, we strongly encourage that you do as it will give you a richer context coming into this tutorial and future tutorials in this series. So to, to demonstrate everything, we've crafted this Jupyter Notebook and it references content, Darwin API functionality and example source code that's been covered in past video tutorials. We've developed some live, we've provided some on GitHub and all of that is accessible through both the video playlist as well as our Darwin API GitHub repository uh, called Darwin API Tutorials. So as regards this introduction to trading strategy R&D, we'll be focusing on uh, a workflow that involves developing a hypothesis, assessing the data requirements for our hypothesis, then creating the data set based on the data we need, generating factors that our hypothesis relies on in order for us to then go ahead and craft the strategy, calculate returns and evaluate accordingly. We also need to conduct some statistical tests on our outputs that we won't be covering in this tutorial, but they will form a, a good chunk of future tutorials as they come in. So today we'll be following the first six components of our table of contents here, all the way from developing a hypothesis through to evaluating the results of our hypothesis. As always, if you enjoyed this presentation, please do consider sharing it with your social networks, colleagues, co-workers, and friends. And do subscribe to the DarwinX YouTube channel so you remain up to date with all future videos that will be released in this series and other topics discussed on DarwinX. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next time.